I have nacho cheese stains all over my shirt. Oh, I should just give up on life now. I wanted to do a review. Um, recently I did the review on the Jamaican Mango and Lime Twist and Lock Gel, I think it was called. And now I wanted to do the Cantu Shea Butter Natural Hair Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel. So I just retwisted my hair last night. It's been about, about 12 or 13 hours. And this is what it looks like so far. I am not good at retwisting, guys. Please keep that in mind. What you're seeing on my head has nothing to do with the gel itself, but my lack of skills. But by my standards and how I usually, I got, I got nacho cheese in my hair too. <laughs> <laughs> by my standards and by my skills, the gel seems to be working pretty well so far. Um, I only used a little bit of it, and usually by now I have a heavy hand. Usually by now, like, half of the gel would be gone or all of it would be gone. <laughs> but this looks like I can do this, uh, I can have another two or three retwists with this one. Not even, like three or four retwists with this one container. So that's a good sign. Um, yeah, so it looks good for my retwisting needs. It looks good, and also there's a lot. The dog is kicking my foot right now. And also, there's a lot of products, so it doesn't require that much to get the job done. Um, I noticed that it has a coconut smell to it. I am not a fan of coconut. I don't think it's coconut smells bad, but because I associate the smell with coconut with the taste of coconut, it kind of turns my stomach a little bit. <laughs> but it's not a bad smell, so yeah, although it doesn't say coconut in here, so I'm not sure why it smells like coconut, but I mean it smells just like coconut. So that's not a bad thing in general for everyone else. Bad for me, but not everyone else. It's, it's not a deal breaker. And it's a very like strong smell. Like I was sitting all in church and everything, and I was smelling it the whole time. And when I was trying to sleep last night, time I woke up in the middle of the night, I was smelling it. So yeah, um, no flakes so far. If you are seeing anything in there, it's probably the dry nacho cheese that I just ate from Denny. <laughs> I'm telling you I should give up on life. <laughs> I'll come back to you guys in three weeks when I'm going to do my next retwist and I'll tell you how it held out like over that length of time. But so far so good. Looks like I need to retwist this lock. I don't know what this one is doing. Yeah, okay. It's been two weeks since I did the retwist with the Can 2 Shea Butter Moisturizing Twist and Lock Gel. And I have to say that, I would have to say that this actually has the best hold of any gel that I've done so far. I mean, I mean you can take a look for yourself. I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> it's even better than the Jamaican Mango and Lime. The negative though, there's a negative, there is a downside, guys, Ugh. perps, there is a downside, there are lots of flakes. And at first I didn't see it and it was fine, but when I started like examining my scalp more towards the middle of my head, I started noticing a lot of flaking. I'm starting to see some towards the front of my head now, but 
I wasn't seeing that before and I don't even know if you can see this but I wasn't seeing that before it just started to pair here closer but mostly was like towards the middle I haven't had any in the front which is the most important thing you don't want flakes in the very very front of your hair right but I haven't had any just right now towards this area and the middle but but because the hold was so good I would have to say that I I mean I would I would actually consider doing it even though it gives a lot of flakes I would actually consider using it again unlike the Jamaican mango and lime I mean that had a great hold too and the smell was great but this holds even better than the Jamaican mango so yeah yeah and the flaking didn't really start I didn't start noticing the flaking until like weeks later so I mean I, I would definitely consider it so the good the good thing about this is that um, that it has a great hold and also that you get a lot of products that you can probably use this for a few retwists versus like two with most of the ones that I use because you know my issue um, downside is the flaking and it smells like coconut but that's my downside that's not I know that's not a deal breaker for most people but it's not a deal breaker for me too but I would prefer to not have to smell coconut because I don't like the taste of coconut and when you know I associate the smell with the taste and then you know it starts triggering bad memories and whoa I need to stay on topic so if I had to give this a review I would say a four out of five I'm probably not gonna use this all the time but if I really needed a nice thing that's going to really put my dreads in a nice locked for a special occasion <sighs> I'd probably go with this over uh, over any of the other gels so far that I have tried in the past but for now after this is done I'm going to go back to my water and oil and if I feel like doing a review on another gel in the future I will okay all right so thanks so much for watching you guys and please let me know your thoughts if you have used this gel before and how it worked for you. Bye.